Hello everyone and welcome to this week's top 10 where we're going to take a look at the hardest courses in Zwift. Shut yourself in, this is, um, it's going to be painful just looking at these courses and reminding ourselves just how horrible they are. In at number 10 is Everything Bagel. Now this one is one of the latest courses because New York is obviously one of the, the newest courses and, and this takes in everything in the shape of a bagel in the New York course. It's, it's, it's absolutely brutal. 34.2k, there's 525 meters of elevation gain in that small compact space. You're going up gradients at 17%. Oh, it's just, it's just brutal. There's no real respite on this course. It's up and down all the time. In at number nine is the Innsbruck 2018 UCI short lap course. This one's brutal. It's 23K and 487 meters of elevation. It's all nice and timid all the way around the uh, the streets of Innsbruck until you get onto that climb and then, ugh. And if that wasn't bad enough, then you've got the leg snapper right at the end of the course. So if you're going on a race, if you manage to make it up the hill in the front group, the leg snapper could be the undoing of you. You've really got to concentrate if you want to take the win on a race around this short course. In a number eight, ah, oh, the Surrey Hills, the extension pack on the Surrey Hills. So it's got Keith and Leith Hill in here. The additions from obviously Box Hill and the reverse of that, which is which is Fox Hill. It's 41 kilometers in total, 25 miles. And again, that elevation gain, it just goes up and up and up, 881 meters. No respite on Box Hill. No respite on Key or Leaf Hill. It is just up and down and Fox Hill. That's that's actually harder than Box Hill. Seven is the Lutia route. I hope I've pronounced that right. Which is German for lollipop. So basically you go out on a leading down the lollipop stick and then you hang a left or a right and then you go around the loop of the lollipop head. Look at that profile. Look at it, 825 meters elevation gain, 24.2 in distance. In at number six, keeping with that German theme, Achterbahn, which is also German for roller coaster. And this route is just like a roller coaster, the hardest roller coaster you will ever likely to ride, 47K, 900, almost a thousand meters of climbing within this one. And uh, you've got to be a You've got to be a little bit crazy to want to do this. You've got to be a climber to want to do this one. It sucks. In at number five, heading back to Utopia now, the road to the sky. Starts off in the sleepy hollows of Utopia and just goes up and up and up and up. I mean, they're going down, but most people are going up because you're going to climb. 1100 meters up into the sky perfect way i mean look at look at me there enjoying it i don't know how or why but i almost look like i might be enjoying it maybe not who knows the perfect way to get that concept by go up there 50 times you get the tron number four is the tour of fire and ice head to the volcano before looping all the way around going all the way up out to zwift for a little bit of ice once you've been in the pits of the volcano, you're going to head across to Alp de Zwift and you're going to climb the most epic climb within Zwift. It might be the tour of fire and ice, but the chances are you're going to be cold in the volcano and by the time you get to the top where the ice is, you're going to be absolutely red hot. It's kind of ironic really, isn't it? It should, should be the other way around. It should be called the tour of ice and fire because you're ice cold at the start and then on fire at the end. Number three is the pretzel. Look at these two. Are we allowed to use the word imbeciles here? Completing 10 pretzels. Fresh faced. Unaware of what was in front of them. It's a 72k loop for the pretzel. Elevation gain of almost 2000 meters, 1800 meters. And it takes in the radio tower, it takes in the epic KOM, it takes in everything that you do not want to ride when it comes to Zwift. Uh, four hours there, 85k done. I do not know what possessed these two men to do this. 
but you can see look they started so fresh faced and now if you look at those two boys they look at least 20 years older this is the next challenge I want to see them take on though the mega pretzel as if the, the, the pretzel wasn't hard enough now you can take on the mega pretzel it's 107k 65 miles and 1600 meters of elevation once again if you're willing to commit to it and get around it's the perfect way to climb those meters and obtain that concept bike it's the only way you're going to do it unless you're going to go up and down up and down out the zwift all day in at number one is of course the only route the four horsemen takes in four climbs the hilly climb the volcano climb epic climb up the zwift four horsemen almost 90 kilometers 2000 meters of climbing it's ridiculous you will take in every inch of road when it comes to the four horsemen on Watopia no piece of tarmac will be left untouched when it comes to that and uh, there's talk in the cycling hub office hopefully this uh, this won't happen until at least winter next year but there's talk of us doing a 24-hour continuous stream around the four horsemen if you think that's a good idea just ignore what I've just said and never mention it again because if you think it's a good idea the chances are we're gonna have to do it thanks for watching everybody make sure you hit that like button hit that subscribe button and let us know below what is your favorite course on Zwift 